Hello, welcome to FYBAC Microbiology class. Today, we are going to discuss about units of measurement from the paper Basic Techniques in Microbiology. So, let's discuss about the units. The value of any physical quantity we can determine by comparing it with a certain standard reference of same kind of physical quantity. For example, the mass of a person, if we are saying the mass of a person is 60 kg, it means what? It means that his mass is 60 times the standard mass 1 kg. The standard mass, how we can calculate the standard mass? It is 1 kg. Therefore, the reference standard used for the measurement of a physical quantity is called unit. The reference standard used for the measurement of a physical quantity is called as unit. Now let's discuss about the characteristics of a unit. First important characteristic of unit is invariability. Invariable means what? It should not change with space and time and it should not be changed with change in any physical conditions such as temperature and pressure. The second characteristic of a unit, it should be easily available and accurately reproducible. The third characteristic is that it should be comparable to the site of any given physical quantity. And the next characteristic is that it should be universally acceptable. The modern form of metric system or the measuring system is the SI units. So SI unit it is the international system of unit. We adapted this SI unit since 1960 at 11th International General Conference of weights and the majors. So in SI units there are seven, seven fundamental units along with two supplementary units are there. So let's discuss about the basic terms in units of measurement. First unit of measurement is the unit of length. Length will be determined in meter. So how we can calculate one meter? So meter is the length of a path traveled by a light in vacuum during a time interval of 1 divided by 2997924584 of a second. Now next unit is unit of mass which is mainly taken in kilogram. So the kilogram is the unit of a mass and it is equal to the mass of international example of the kilogram. Now next SI unit is for the unit of volume which is mainly expressed in cubic meter. The SI unit of volume is the cube of SI unit of length and therefore it is mainly present in the form of cubic meter. The cubic meter and the cubic decimeter these are the units of volume and they are most widely used in the chemistry. So thousand cubic meter 
is equal to 1 decimeter and 1000 decimeter is equal to 1 cubic meter. The liter is an older but common name for the cubic decimeter. 1 liter is equal to 1000 ml and 1 ml is equal to 1000 microliter. Next concept is of base unit. How we can define a base unit? It can be defined as a unit in a system of measurement and it is based on an object or event in the physical world but it is independent of other units and there are seven base units in the SI system. All other units are derived from a combination of these base units. So the base units of the international system they are listed in table which relate the base quantity, the unit name and unit symbol for each of the seven base units. So this is the table one which represent base units of the international system. So base quantity length symbol LXR SI unit is meter and the symbol of the meter is M. Base quantity mass symbol M SI unit kilogram and its symbol is kg. Base unit for time and duration symbol small t. SI base unit it is second and it is the symbol is small s. Electric current symbol is I. SI unit is amper and which was denoted by the symbol capital A. Next base unit is the thermodynamic temperature. Symbol is capital T. SI base unit is Kelvin and it was denoted by the symbol capital K. Amount of substance denoted by the symbol small n. SI base unit it is in the mole and symbol is MOL. Luminous intensity can be denoted by symbol capital I small v. SI base unit is candela and the symbol is CD. Volume symbol is cubic meter. SI base unit is length and the symbol is capital V. SI derived units. Derived units are product of powers of base units. So coherent derived units, these are the products of power of base units and it include numerical factor other than 1. So the base and the coherent derived units of SI system, they form a coherent set which is designated as set of coherent SI units. So derived units, they are expressed in terms of base unit. As you know, the number of quantities in science is without limit and therefore it is not possible to provide a complete list of derived quantities and derived units. Therefore, here we are taking some of the examples of derived quantities and corresponding coherent derived units which are mainly expressed in terms of base units.
so examples of coherent derived units in the si unit it should be explained in terms of a base unit for example derived units area which was denoted by the symbol a and its si coherent derived unit is name is square meter which was denoted by symbol m square the derived quantity is volume which was denoted by the symbol capital V its SI coherent derived unit is cubic meter and its symbol is m raised to 3 next derived quantity is velocity which was denoted by the symbol V its SI coherent derived unit meter per second and it was denoted by symbol m slash s next derived quantity is the acceleration denoted by symbol a si coherent derived unit is meter per second squared and it can be denoted by symbol m per s raised to 2 wave number which was denoted by the symbol delta name reciprocal meter and symbol is m raised to minus 1 next name is density and it was denoted by p si coherent derived unit is kilogram per cubic meter and symbol is kg per meter cube next derived quantity is surface density denoted by p rest p a name kilogram per square meter and symbol is kg per meter square next derived quantity is specific volume which was denoted by v and its si coherent derived unit is ampere per square meter and it was denoted by the symbol meter cube per kilogram current density denoted by symbol small j is a unit ampere per meter denoted by a slash meter square next derived unit is magnetic field strain denoted by capital H SI unit is mole per cubic meter denoted by A slash M concentration denoted by C SI unit is candela per square meter and denoted by symbol CD per meter square these are the references Thank you.